Hey guys, Kathy Rankin here with your weekly soaps roundup. And I don't know if you've heard the big news, but it looks like Kanye West and Kim Kardashian might be splitting up. I know you guys, for some of you, it's devastating. For others of you, you might be collecting money from the bet you made when they first announced they were getting married like I did. But either way, I hope that it's not full of turmoil when it hits the news because we've got enough turmoil on our show. So let's check in on what's happening on The Bold and the Beautiful where Steffi managed to convince Finn that she wanted this baby to be his and for them to have a future. But Hope wasn't sure how she felt, although Thomas, of all people, urged her to give Liam another chance even after finding out his sister might be having the guy's baby. As for Liam, the poor sensitive vegan was so stressed out, he actually ate a roast beef sandwich. Oh, the horror, you guys. He's going to regret that later, I'm sure. Okay, well, my favorite bad girl from Young and the Restless, Summer, didn't have much luck getting Wyatt to dish the dirt about his ex-girlfriend, Sally, but Flo seemed a lot more willing to spill some tea. Coming up, Ridge catches Zende with Zoe and blows his top. Now, over on Days of Our Lives, Ava admitted that she'd asked Charlie to basically spy on Trip in London, meaning he was definitely there when Allie was attacked. Gwen blabbed to the press about having slept with Chad, so he was asked to step down at Demera Enterprises. And no sooner had Jake slipped into the company's top spot than in walked Gabby, hoping to mix business and pleasure. But the big news was that Gwen finally admitted to Jack and Jennifer why she had such a hate on for their family. Well, it turns out, you guys, the nanny is actually Jack's daughter, making her Abigail's secret sister. Did you guys see this bombshell coming? And coming up, Steve and Sean try and prove the case against Charlie. Now, in General Hospital, when a man attempted to hold up the bar run by his new friends, Sonny, who still has amnesia and thinks his name is Mike, leapt into action and disarmed the robber. With an assist from Robert, Olivia managed to catch Tracy in a lie, which led to the truth coming out about Ned and Alexa's drunken one-night stand. Yep, we knew that wasn't going to stay secret long. Does it ever? Now, Ava convinced Joss to give her the necklace that Avery is desperately wanting back. Of course, Joss didn't realize the necklace could actually connect her mom to Nell's death. Coming up, Monica decides a certain house guest needs to go. And finally, on The Young and the Restless, while well, Sharon swinging by for a visit left poor wheelchair-bound Chelsea, imagining that Adam was hooking up with his favorite coffee-swinging barista behind her back. Can you blame her, you guys? Later, Chelsea's doctor suggested to Adam that depression might be causing her patient's lack of progress. Abby had a mini meltdown after finding out she couldn't have a baby, but she and Chance vowed they'd still have a family by whatever means necessary. What does that mean? Okay, our favorite troublemaker, Gloria, came back to town and declared that since Kevin had derailed her gravy train by destroying that flash drive, she was moving in with him and Chloe. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay, coming up, Jack receives an unexpected guest. Well, that's pretty vague. Look forward to finding out who it is. That's it for this week, you guys. We'll see you next time on the Weekly Soaps Roundup.